Today I'm going to be heat texturing some fabric. It has to be polyester or a heat sensitive fabric like acetate. I find polyester is probably the easiest one to use. So I'm using a polyester lining fabric and my heat gun to texture the fabric. So anyways, here we go. Probably making a little bit of noisy, but as soon as your uh, heat gun warms up, you can see it's just going to start shrinking up the fabric. And it takes some practice. It's always a good idea if this is your first time doing this to practice on some scraps because you can easily melt right through. You have to just like not get too close. And I am protecting my tabletop with a heat resistant fabric so that the heat doesn't transfer through and ends up melting my tabletop or ruining it and making it buckle up. So this is a heat re uh, resistant fabric that I just keep underneath. So as you're working, you just need to make sure that you are keeping your fabric um, within that heat resistant area. And you can texture as much or as little as you want. This is eventually going to be the hood of a garment. What I like doing, about doing this is that it makes it kind of look like it's quilted, but it's just lining fabric, so it's very light, adds no added bulk, just gives the illusion of being a quilted fabric. And as I'm getting close to the end of my uh, heat resistant fabric, I'm just going to move things down and continue on. In the dark areas, or because it, you know, that's where the heat is concentrated. So I try to stay away because if I stay too long in an area, I can melt a hole right in it and basically melt and burn the fabric. So it just takes a little bit of practice to get good at this to where you get a nice pattern without melting your fabric. And this is permanent. It'll go through the wash and never come out because basically you are you know, melting the fabric in place. I always like uh, just previewing my pattern piece. See if I've got enough. I'm going to just do a little bit more. Just to give me the option of being able to move that pattern piece around if I need to. But I always like previewing the pattern because no sense in doing a whole bunch that I don't need to do. And this way I can use the excess left over for my pocket linings and anything else I might need it for that are going to be non textured There's my texture. 